CropX combines advanced cloud technology with affordable sensors in the ground. CropX technology scans your field and analyzes its different zones. CropX, the internet of soil. Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with Vegetables West Magazine reporting to you from the UC Research Station at Five Points where growers here gathered for a vegetable crop pest meeting. One of the speakers today was Joe Nunez, UC Farm Advisor in Kern County, who talked about problems with root knot nematode in his latest studies. Root knot nematode can cause extensive root damage. Uh, it'll damage the root so much that uh, the root becomes inefficient and the galling would be so extensive uh, that the plant tries to make up by the damaged root by putting out more roots, which gets more infection going on. And then you'll get secondaries coming in behind it, either different fungi or bacteria will come in, and the, collapse, the, the plant becomes very stressed and may collapse from it. But it also, because the plant becomes so stressed, it becomes susceptible to be the proper infection, and then you may get curly top behind that. And we've seen that, where we control the root knot nematode with uh, different uh, the mass size that we have, they we actually reduce the amount of curly top because, not because it took care of the insect, but because the plant was less stressed. I've been working on nematodes uh, trials for a few years now, and I continue to screen different materials. I do some biologicals and I do some conventional materials. So some of the biologicals were interesting. We had two different products that looked, I mean, they weren't significantly different, but there were some differences there. So we're going to expand that next year, look at it a little more closely. And then on the conventional side, I'm still looking at uh, these different, these three different products that look very promising. Uh, one's on market now. That's the Nimitz material. It's registered. It's being used in California finally. And the other one is a Bayer product called Vellum. Uh, it's slowly being released. It has some registration, but not on vegetables as of yet. Uh, and then the third product is still under development, but all three products look very, very promising. So uh, that's exciting news for uh, nematode control for the vegetable growers in California. Thank you, Joe. Read more about Joe's studies in the coming issue of Vegetables West magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgnet.com.